And we're back. I'm still John Siskin, and we're still talking about meters. There's an awful lot of meters to talk about, and I'm glad you've joined us again. Today we're going to talk about historical meters and one particular company. This is the Weston Company. They made other things, uh, electrical boxes and so on. They have no relationship with the Weston family, Edward Weston, Brett Weston, and so on and so forth. They made an awful lot of terrific meters. As I mentioned in the last video, this is the first one. This is the beginning of having electronic meters for still photography. It is a marvelous thing. I wish it still worked. But, hey, we can't have everything. Some old Weston meters, some meters that are more than 50 years old, still work because these things actually generated electricity. These meters generate electricity with sun-sensitive cells. They generate some electricity. Now, these old ones were very, very poor at generating electricity, so they actually put two cells on this meter. Pretty quickly, Weston developed more sensitive systems that generated more power. So this only has one cell on it, and this little bumpy grid is very indicative of the way that Weston worked. It absorbed more light and it helped to direct the light. So you see these meters and they have this wonderful old Art Deco styling and they do something that photographers absolutely had to do. They tell you how much light is out there in real terms and what your exposure might be. Weston made meters for years and they made terrific meters. You'll see things like this, a Weston Master 3, that have been working effectively for 50 years. For low light, you have this baffle down, and for sunlight, you have the baffle up. So it gives you two ranges, a large ability to discuss how much light is out there. And this meter still works. You can see the little red pointer, and you can use the calculating dial to figure your exposure. Weston calculating dials are really, really useful because they tell you all the aperture numbers, they tell you all the shutter speed numbers, and all the ISO numbers, so you can make an accurate and detailed exposure based on real information. Really terrific things. This meter is at least 50 years old and it's still working. Never needs batteries because it is generating electricity and reading how much electricity is created. Weston also made cine meters. So you'll look at this one and it is specifically de designed for cinematography. Once again, it's got the same baffle and it's got this photodiode in here that is generating electricity for the meter. You'll notice that this thing still works after decades. This has another photosolenoid in it that generates electricity and that gives you information based on how much electricity is generated about how much light is out there. You never need batteries with this thing. This thing is decades old and it is still working and still giving you information. I'd like to see a digital camera last that long. Then you get into the last of the great Weston meters. This is the Ranger 7 and this was a terrific meter. It, however, needed batteries. It used a CDS cell in which creates more resistance to electricity as you get more brightness out there. The CDS cell is more accurate and you saw this same unit used in the Nikomat, the early Nikons, the early Canons. It's a good, good meter and it's very accurate. There's only one problem with the CDS cell. These things ran off of mercury batteries that are impossible to get these days. There are replacement batteries that are almost as good, but you're going to be spending maybe $15 on batteries for this meter, and then you don't know if it works or not. This meter also allowed you to view through the meter and pick the specific part of the scene you wanted to meter on. Altogether, a terrific meter, and you see it's still using a descendant of the original Weston dial that's on this meter. Terrific stuff. 
really, really great for photographers. Thank you for joining us today. <clears throat> Weston made a lot of meters, and you know what? If you throw one in a case, someday you might need it. Thank you very much.